Well, let me begin with a profound thank you from our family to all of you for being here this evening. Even during his last moments, late Wisconsin hockey coach Jeff Sauer stayed true to what made him so special to everyone who knew him. Dad's amazing strength and clarity stayed with him to his last hours as he clearly and calmly gave each of us the carefully thought through messages that he wanted to leave with us. In fact, Dad gave us a specific message that he wanted to give everyone on this occasion. Thank you. Sauer cared about others more than himself. That's the legacy he leaves in just one of the stories told during an event to celebrate his life Thursday night inside the Kohl Center. Did he ever yell? And then there's only two people that we could come, at, come up with that he yelled. So think hard, you guys can think of both, both of those people. One was Shep, does anyone remember Shep? And the other one was Mito. And those were two referees, and he'd stand up on a bench and he'd yell, Shep! Shep! Mito! And he'd yell at him, and we'd be on the bench, and he'd try to get us a call, and as soon as the game was over, he'd go right up to Shep and Mito, and he'd shake their hand, he'd give them a little wink, he'd smile, and he'd meet them out for beer and pizza after. But those echoes of Shep and Mito in my head are, are still there. He believed that life was so much more than just winning. It was also about coaches' ability to see the best in people and give them a chance to shine. He knew how desperate I was to help the team. Somehow, he gave me the opportunity to utilize my skills. Win or lose, cold winter night, we'd find a place to have pizza. We also did that often on our birthdays, and you should know, Tomorrow would be Jeff 74th. Friends, family, and fans all gathered together. And while everyone who has played for, worked for, or worked with Coach has their own story, it was his son Chip who elegantly connected everyone's experience to perfectly describe how the world will remember home, his dad. Dad didn't make long, eloquent speeches about life or right and wrong. When he did speak of such things, his simple, carefully chosen words stood out and as you thought about them in the hours and days later, they came through with meaning and power. Instead, Dad led by example, showing us the way to approach all aspects of life, family and friends, love and happiness, frustration and disappointment, fame and anonymity. He taught us to treat everyone who crosses your path with respect and to help others in any way you can, not because you get recognition or bonus points, but simply because it's the right thing to do. He wanted us to be involved with sports and other pursuits for the simple joy of participating and being with friends. He taught us to be loyal, loyal to family, to friends, to the team, to work, and to the country. Above all, he showed us how important it was to always be positive. For Wisconsin Athletics, I'm Chris Hall.